A plan to increase law enforcement in one southern Oregon city is not going to be brought before voters, at least for now. As NBC5's Cassie Nelson explains, Gold Hill City Councilors need more information before placing a public safety levy on the May ballot. It's been seven years since Gold Hill has had a police force, but tonight the plan to increase law enforcement has been given the thumbs down, at least for the time being. We get some real, real facts and real numbers. Currently, the people rely on one community service officer to patrol the streets 20 hours a week, something city manager Rick Honebaum says citizens would like to see change. There is pretty significant uh, indication that people would like an increased presence of law enforcement, and we really don't have any law enforcement assigned to Gold Hill. But councilors voted against putting a public safety levy on the May ballot that would pay for a full-time sheriff deputy as well as their community service officer. One of those councilors, Karen Baker, says the city hasn't done enough research for the amount of money residents would have to pay. Just more information in general so they can make a better informed decision about what they would actually be getting and what their money would be buying them. The cost, $227,000, double the amount of what the men and women of Gold Hill pay for city government. Which is a significant amount for us. Four out of six councillors voted against the levy, but say they hope to revisit the issue again after talking to more citizens and finding out exactly what they want and how much they're willing to pay for it. Councilors will have until mid-August to gather feedback on what community members want in order to try for another public safety levy for the November ballot. In Gold Hill, Cassie Nelson, NBC5 News.